We've already drawn a star in Scratch, but how do you use my blocks to create a function that draws a star? This is the Scratch blocks, the code for drawing a six point star. We've had a request to see how we could run these, this program using a block. So if you go to my blocks, we can see make a block and here let's say draw star okay the easiest function we don't need to give it any number or text we just define the function so we can see here define draw star now we decide how much of the code is going to go in that function so let's imagine we're going to put all of it in there now we have to call the function so we've got when the green flag is clicked draw star so now when we run that you can see it will draw the star so that's the easiest way of putting the code within a function in this program we've got two sets of block one set is to draw a five point star and the other set is to draw a six point star and they both use some beginning blocks so we could create two functions so we could create a function or make a block called draw five star okay and that draws the star with five points and also we can make a block for draw six star okay so we draw a six star now when we want to run them we can call them by saying draw five star we can draw six star maybe draw five star again and then draw six star so we could call them as many times as we like so if we just move that code over we can see the code for the five star and the six star okay now let's have a look when we run the program we have our stars <laughs> we have our five stars and our six stars now you saw there that the stars stayed on the screen and the second time they drew over the first star so perhaps we want to move the arrays all so we can use the arrays all in between when we call the function or we could put it inside the function so we have one inside the draw five star or one inside the draw six star so now let's run that program again we have our five point star we have our six point star we have our five point star now we have our six point star now these two functions a lot of the blocks a lot of the code is the same so perhaps we should try to make this one function so let's see how we can do that so we can start off let's start off by getting rid of the previous ones so now we need to let's say um, draw star and here we're going to add an input because we want to know how many points there are so we can just say points okay so we're going to draw the star and let's say it's a five point star so to start off with this is the five point star so we have arrayzel we have go to so arrayzel is the same five point star six point star the six point star has a different start in place now we have the repeat loop so here we have repeat five and repeat six so we can look at our variable and we can create a variable called points okay so we need to set the variable so let's say for example set points to 5 and then we're going to pass points 
to draw star and then the repeat loop will have points now when we want to change it to six we can just change a six here and the repeat loop will be the same when it's a six point star so that's a repeat loop the same pen down is the same set pen set pen color is the same now we've got turn turn 120 degrees is different so we need to change that so let's take out these blocks so we have these blocks are the same so turn is different so we have the repeat repeat block is the same now pen up and hide are the same at the bottom weight is the same move is the same now turn is different it's 60 rather than 72 we have change is the same move is the same so we have three blocks that are different in the six point star so we have to go to we have to turn degrees so what we can do in our function we can say we can use an if statement let's say if we can use an operator we want our equals so we can say if points so we get points is equal to six then we can go to x 50 50 our degree angle is 120 so let's create a variable called angle okay so we need to set angle to equal 120 and then in our code we put angle we're going to put that in the first time we turn the second one is half the first angle so we can say angle divided by 2 so we can use divided by 2 with that angle in the variable there we go now that's if points equal 6 if it doesn't equal 6 then we can say go to a hundred and a one zero and we need to set angle to 144 okay so we're going to put that inside our function and remember we had the angle and inside our blocks when we turn we're going to turn first by the angle we're going to turn by angle divide by two so we we start off same as before we're going to call one function not two we're going to change the place where we start and the angle if it's five or six and then we have the same code as before but we put in the variable angle so let's run that program to see if it works here's our six point star now let's try that with our five point star and it works and if we wanted to do both together we could use six, set points to five set point to six and run that so let's look at the code five point star and six point star it works with so many videos we really suggest you click that subscribe button and the bell to get notified when these new videos are getting released